Hey everybody, how are you guys doing today? Abby here. Today I am bringing you a email of someone who recently stumbled across our channel and decided that he would write in to us and share with us some of his experiences. So I am going to read you what I got and I hope you enjoy. Says, Dear Abby, upon stumbling onto your YouTube channel, browsing through all the various topics you discuss in general, I felt like wanting to share all of my stories that come to mind about a sex life. Seeing that you might just be the right person to talk to about any sort of erotic desires confidently. Confidentially especially when it comes to all the types of girlfriends I have have come and go into my life, some which worked in the tango industry. One of them was a woman um, whom I've been in a relationship for 12 years, who was 19 years older than me, our life as a couple in secret from both our families. <clears throat> She's first worked as a stripper and then as a tango shop clerk and took up becoming a dominatrix also. As we explored the many types of things we could do together to have fun, unfortunately she died of COVID last year at age 54. But in between our time together, Knowing that even though she met the criteria to be my type of fun-loving significant other, what we couldn't have is our own children, and there have been many other much closer to my age girls I was courting that I could have left her for. She understanding how there was this and that, she knew she couldn't give me. As you'll read below in a forwarded set of emails to a friend of mine named, we won't name him, whom I trusted with much, with such relatable secrets, there's mention of a girl named, another girl named, we won't name her, who also knew about the first girl and that I'd leave her to be with she not working at anything in the tango industry finally i did leave girl number one for a non-tango trade working girlfriend called girl number three at this point just a year before she passed away in my experience of not shying away from asking women out I've learned to be okay with their preferences if they want to keep things vanilla or spicy in developing a relationship. The spicy part would have always would always be involved with tango trade worker girlfriends. Most strippers I've dated, including the one I'm currently with named girl number four, where again, I tell more about her below to I, to my friend, whom at times has been skeptical about how our relationship can work because he doesn't quite share the same confidence I have to be courting a girl who works in a deemed dicey environment. Well, Thanks to a fetish for handcuffs and handcuffing, I've managed to arouse and seduce girl number four successfully, and that's how I got girl number one to love me in the first place, back when she was also dancing. I elaborate further below on how my new stripper girlfriend has made my bondage games way more fun than my previous one and how she's been doing a little improvising and making them even playful. With all 
the type of sweet talk as if even getting put under arrest. Such stuff you'd know about from role play. Girl number f four, four, I think. When she was in my life for two years as, or no, girl number three, excuse me. When she was in my life for two years as the first serious non tango trade worker girlfriend to fall in love with me had made me undertake drastic changes in my love life as after she had kissed me on the lips that's when I had found the courage to break up with girl number one except that she having only stayed for a while where I'm from and moving back to Europe she had so many insecurities, like the fact that she warned me that she was infertile, that I'd do something as daring <clears throat> as to mail her G-strings in the hopes that it'd give her a boost in her sexual well-being. And there's a whole story about this I can write you in the next follow-up email. Girl number four has been the best thing that's ever struck me. She'd find out a lot of inner talents within her she never thought she had when I'd have her dance privately for me with her hands handcuffed behind her back. She even impressed me more when we did start dating outside of her club just a month after we first met last year. I didn't get to have such fun nor such privileges with girl number one that soon. Plus she didn't love a perfume brand that I saw fit for a woman in her field. Dior Hypnotic Poison. Girl number four to my pleasant surprise did and that it's what I'll always buy her to smell hypnotically great and including like a fe and inducing like a femme fatale or succubus when she embraced letting me cuff her from the back she's felt like she needed a well-deserved punishment for the wild child she's been in her 11 years working as a stripper she also works as a dental hygienist, that it's already a lot on her plate there too, and I'd never have her try any other job, any of the other jobs girl number one once worked. Seeing how it was like the Joker creating a monster out of Harley Quinn when I reflect upon it. All in all, I'd have a lot more of the so many adventures I've lived through my relationships to share with you. After telling this so many times to my guy friends, like the guy, etc., I've been curious to get an opinion from a, wo from a woman, a kinky one for sure this time. Sincerely, viewer. Well, viewer. Thank you for writing in to me. And this viewer sent me lots of, forwarded me lots of emails. Um, I can't read them all in one video. Um, we'd be here for quite some time. But um, maybe I'll share them a little more as we go along. Um, my opinion of it is, hey, you're living your best life. Um, can't I don't judge can't say that I blame you I encourage everyone to live their best life in any way they see fit um, you only go around this world once so might as well have fun with it that's my opinion of it and a job is just a job that doesn't make the person so kudos to you for looking past those things and enjoying your experiences that's totally awesome. That's my opinion of it. 
I like it and it clearly works for you. So thank you for writing in to me. If any of you have a story you would like to share with me, send it to my email at how.abby at gmail.com and we will see you guys next time. Bye.